Are the other two interchangeable? Yes. Okay, there we go. I mean, no, no, that's mean. Speaking of stupid fathers... <laughs> <laughs> woman what? finds father dead in home full of bees. As in buzz buzz, honey. Yeah. Cause of death not yet determined. Really? See, my, my mental image was even better because it was like a bunch of flying bees. Like the letter B, like an episode of Sesame Street. <laughs> This one's from November 5th, so last weekend, Miami. A woman found her father dead inside his home with thousands of bees living inside the walls. How would you not notice that? Anyway, uh, the man's daughter found him in the upstairs bedroom of his home at 129 Northwest 15th Avenue in Miami on Saturday. How nice of them to give us his complete address. Uh, The man was renovating the home, which neighbours said had been in the family for decades for his his daughter. Firefighters said the home was full of bees. They added that the cause of death has not been determined. We're not sure if he fell, had a medical condition, or if it was bee stings. The Miami Fire Rescue Lieutenant Ignatius Carroll. Ha, I got it. Were you expecting me to get it wrong? No, no, no. I am laughing at the fact that he is a fire rescue person and his name is Ignatius. <laughs> like, as in igniting something. Uh-huh. Uh, Willie S- How the hell do you say that? Sklaroff. There you go. Or Sklaroff. That. Who runs a bee eradication company said at least 60,000 bees were living in the walls of the home. He plans to return to the home in the coming days to remove the bees. Wow. Mm. I'm thinking if they sort of looked hard enough and there was a bee sting, maybe that might be a cause of death. But uh, how did... Okay, 60,000 bees. How do you just not notice that? Maybe they thought they had tinnitus and, you know, they had a buzzing in their ears instead of, like, a ringing in their ears. I don't I know. Thought you, I thought you were just saying something funny. Then I realized you were saying tinnitus. Yeah, that. You know, <laughs> tinnitus! That thing. You know, I, was, I was going to agree with you and then realize... Uh, cause I, you do the whole, I have no idea what you're talking about, but I'm just going to agree with you. And then I realize, oh, tinnitus. Yeah, that. So, I tinnitus. don't know. How the hell do you have 60,000 bees in your walls and not know? Well, it's a good thing he didn't have a trailer. Because if he had a trailer with 60,000 bees in it, they would have flown away with his trailer. Pretty much. And then it would have been a whole bed knobs and broomsticks thing all over again. <laughs> 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 Just not with a car <laughs> or a bed. <laughs> wow. Okay. Crickets. <laughs> um. Yeah. I I um, picked this one. I saw this one in my Sunday paper, and then I saw it up on the website. I'm like, ah, oh, so I gotta put this one up there. It is that disturbingly weird. Yeah. <sighs> okay, let's see. There is no. I was reading ahead to try and see if I could segue it somehow. Well, I guess dead people. Yeah, that's about the only segue. Yeah. yeah. Sorry, guys. Yeah. Russian dolls as you've never seen them before. November 8th. He's a respected historian. Why do they make the first letter always in caps lock? I don't know. That's why I always put so much emphasis on the first word. Because it's in capitals. Because obviously you're meant to yell it. Maybe. He's a respected historian and journalist, a genius who speaks 13 languages. Oh yeah, and he dresses up corpses. Meet and Natalie Moskvin, the 45-year-old suspected of digging up 40... 29... <laughs> Not that many. He's not that crazy. (laughs) I was making the story more epic than it was. Yeah. I don't really know what happened there. I'm sorry. Suspected of digging up 
29 female bodies from a graveyard and dressing the mummified remains as dolls. The fetish horror was ex- horror, horror, not whore, horror. <laughs> horror. Hurrah! 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 <laughs> After all of this that I'm reading, and we get we start giggling over hurrah! <laughs> Scary things was exposed when Moskvin's parents came to visit and noticed something was up when they happened upon their son's peculiar collection of Russian dolls. Moskvin is alleged to have dug up bodies from dozens of cemeteries carrying the decomposed remains of at least 29 or 49 Depending if you're on retarded. Whether they found them or not, yeah. <laughs> in his, to his apartment. His parents' discovery at the... Oh, crap. Nizhny Novgorod apartment. Yes. I said that right. Don't look it up. <laughs> Shut up, Mom. About 200 kilometers from Moscow, exposed the horrifying depth of Moskvin's sordid hobby. He was crazy. No, it doesn't say that. I just added that part in. Yeah. Russian authorities say Moskvin had. I'm, I'm going to become an expert at saying this name, and then it's over. Yeah. Had visited more than 750 cemeteries and sometimes took to sleeping in coffins and graveyards. Eh. And apparently he'd been dressing them up as, like, cats and things like that. And it's just like... Uh, yeah. Uh-huh. It was just, like, creepy on a whole, whole another level. Mom said, he's got a little bit of a problem there, doesn't he? Yeah. Just a little one. I believe that would be classified as an understatement, actually. <laughs> Slightly. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Pippa's a doll, but there's just something fake about her. Mm, November 8th. She stole the show at the royal wedding with that white dress. Now fans can get up close and personal with Pippa Middleton's figure for about 50 bucks. An American company called Hero Builders has produced a new plastic doll that captures the moment she won fame, the Sun reports. Pippa's bridesmaid dress was one of the highlights of April's royal wedding between Prince William and Catherine Middleton. Hello, she's Kate Middleton. Bugger the Catherine off. Jesus Christ. Fans were feverish after the lavish ceremony, so it was really only a matter of time before something like this happened. Hero Builders boast a catalogue of celebrity figurines, uh, figures, including the Barack Rambama Obama doll. What? Okay, the Pippa Wedding doll sells for about £31, which is about 48 Australian dollars, I think that's supposed to be, because it wasn't an Australian yes, site. So. But if you look at this doll, like seriously look at this doll, it has nipples. Oh my god. How do you give a doll nipples and keep it in proportion? I I don't I don't know, but I don't underst- I I really don't understand what's going on. <sighs> well, they made a doll. It looks repulsive. I mean, you know how they get those figurines yeah. and they just do not look a damn thing like the person they're supposed to be of? Yes. And you're just like, "Why did you do that?" You could have spent that money on so many other things. Why did you do that? Okay, um... Who's Pippa? Pippa Middleton is Kate Middleton's sister. She's the one that they accused of having butt implants because her backside was that good in that dress. Um... Okay, because I, I didn't pay attention to anything <laughs> that royal wedding related at all. I'm shocked. It was so romantic. It's it just something. Yeah. Okay. I'm guessing it must be a slow news day in New Zealand. That's yours. Apparently. Yeah. 
<laughs> wow, they need help. Okay, so now it's either it's a choice between snail freezing or bullied government with tobacco. I'd like to beat the government with a pack of cigarettes, honestly. That'd be great. <laughs> mm. Mm. That's the nicest thing I'll say. So which one should I read? Uh, you know, go to Escargon. Escargon. <laughs> well, they are now. <laughs> yeah, they've been frozen. Poor Escar. <laughs> <laughs> the Department of Conservation in New Zealand is under fire from environmentalists after freezing 800 endangered giant snails to death. Okay, I thought I thought California was bad about doing really stupid experiments and stuff. <laughs> With, like, okay, yeah, white mice. Enough said. But why? Who sat there and went, let's freeze a bunch of snails for the sake of science? Yeah, oh, we'll just put these ones on ice. That'd be right. <laughs> Oops. Did anybody what? see the giant snails? I just left them here a moment ago. <gasps> they weren't lunch? Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> The rare snails collected from the Stockton Plateau several years ago ahead of a coal mine development died after a temperature glitch. <laughs> they were frozen. I'd say it's a little more than a glitch. <laughs> it's uh, 32 degrees Fahrenheit in here. Oh, well, that might be a glitch. Oh, well. <laughs> yeah, it's just a bit chilly. It's it's only supposed to be like 98 in here. <laughs> Small glitch. Yeah, whoops. Oops. The office's technical support manager, John Lyle, said the temperature probe in one of... Okay, why is it that every story that we've had so far has something to do with ass, pair bonding, which is probing, or... <laughs> why? This is what happens when I'm check collecting stories last minute. <laughs> this is what happens when never mind. Anyway. <laughs> Belinda needs some. Anyway. <laughs> I played the fifth on that one. <laughs> <laughs> Said the temperature probe in one of three containers holding snails failed. I'd say so. Making the cold the cool room colder than the creatures could bear. That was a lot of C's. Yeah. <laughs> He said the deaths had been very upsetting for staff. <laughs> Bet they'd put him in a mass grave. Because <laughs> they have 800 little bitty. <laughs> no, no, no. Just, just, you know, bathe me in garlic butter. That'd be right. <laughs> Send him to France. He'll be alright. Yeah, someone will love him over there. The French will love you. Mm -mm -mm. Ooh la la. But anyway. Uh, <laughs> we organized to have the probe replaced as soon as we noticed the problem. Go talk to the guy that goes and masturbates in all the Starbucks. I'm pretty sure he'll be more than happy to probe things for you. <laughs> well, maybe not. He, he's yeah. dealing. He's dealing with it single-handedly, so maybe not. <laughs> <laughs> I think he's got his <laughs> other hand full. <laughs> I bet that is not how they intended the story to be read. <laughs> what makes you think that? <laughs> oh, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> We've instituted a more regular set of monitoring checks. I thought that said chicks. I'm not kidding. <laughs> and are currently organizing to install an alert system. But forest and bird... Oh, dear God. <laughs> Forest bird. Really? Mm -hmm. <laughs> That's what it says. If the first one had been bush, that would have been fantastic. <laughs> but bush and bird. Just a bird in the bush. Said the accident was a sad example of what happens to wildlife pushed from their national habitat by development. First, their natural home was destroyed for a coal mine in Stock on Stockton Plateau, and now they've died in captivity. This tragedy was entirely avoidable. About 6,000 rare 